Today our path takes us to Charleston, South Carolina to the John Rutledge House Inn, a bed and breakfast uh, 116 Broad Street. Have you ever stayed in a historical bed and breakfast before? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe for more videos like this. And if you like this one, hit the like button. What's really nice is this carriage house only has four rooms in it. So it's very quiet. Room 19. So it was a double queen room. And let's open up the closet. There were two robes with an extra quilt along with a steamer and an iron. We had an ironing board, a full length mirror and a safe. I don't normally see steamers. So that was something new. We had a little breakfast area, a lamp, a couple of windows. The beds were quite comfortable. And we had a chair in the corner. Of course, we had the TV with the chest of drawers. Now, to be honest, we didn't even turn on the TV. And let's go over to the little breakfast area. Now, this is a bed and breakfast, so breakfast is included. And this is what you would actually order your breakfast on, and you'd put it outside on your doorknob for them to pick it up for the morning. And here is the powder room. Typical powder room, all the necessities that you need. A nice shower. I have to say, this is one of the only rooms that I have stayed in that the floor does not get completely soaked from water from the shower. There's a refrigerator in the cabinets hidden in the bathroom and they also supply you with water every day along with there's water outside available to you if you want to get some before you head out for your day. They had some nice toiletries, shampoo, good brand. They really take care of you here. Now let's go to bed. So the next morning we had breakfast. They delivered it promptly and it was a wonderful breakfast. Eggs made to order, bacon. So let's head back into the main house. So we're gonna walk through the courtyard. So this was early in the morning. Umbrellas weren't opened yet. All right, so now we're gonna head into the back door. So we see it from the back. Now let's head from the front. So when you open that door, you are greeted by your innkeeper. If you could tell me a little bit about where we're staying. This was built in uh, 1763 for entertaining purposes. John was a planter, uh, but by marriage, he was a lawyer by trade. At some point, he decided to close his law office and practice law in his library, which is institution actually started off in the ballroom with John, three other guys in the South Carolina Constitution. Uh, I imagine scratching their heads and possibly other body parts trying to figure out what to do next. Knocked off the first few full drafts of his library that we people think. This is such a wonderful place. I mean, we're staying out in the carriage house. And... History there, uh, she crab soup was first made there and uh, served the President Taft in the dining room here. So let's go upstairs, the second floor. And let's go up a little further. Now this is three stories high. You've got rooms on the first floor, the second floor, and the third floor. As I mentioned, we stayed in the carriage house, so we didn't get to see the inside of the rooms or the suites in the house. But if you go on their website, which I will put a link in the description below, there is a drone view of one of the suites downstairs and it is gorgeous. So let's actually go into the ballroom and this is where you have breakfast, you have a high tea or light hors d'oeuvres. This is our view. The ironwork was added in 1850. And we have a view of Cathedral of St. John the Baptist. Across the street is Darius Rucker's home. And Edward Rutledge, who was John's brother, lived across the street in the Yellow House. Hello. 